I'm Dr. Jasmine Baines, assembly member from the 35th district. Before coming to the assembly, I had the immense privilege of serving as the chair of the California Healthcare Workforce Policy Commission. As we approach the 50th anniversary of the Song Brown Commission, I am proud to celebrate with you all. Over the past five decades, the Song Brown Commission has transformed lives. It has championed diversity and inclusivity within the medical profession, ensuring that underserved communities receive the care they deserve. It has paved the way for communities like mine to access quality health care, breaking down barriers that hindered progress for far too long. The path ahead holds many challenges, but the spirit of determination and innovation will guide us. Happy 50th anniversary to the Song Brown Commission. Here's to 50 more years of compassion, progress, and healing. Song Brown is critical in the state of California because it allows family medicine and all primary care programs to increase the numbers of providers who will practice and serve in, in underserved areas, as well as diversifying the workforce of the state of California. The positive impacts that I've seen over the years will start with myself. I was a medical student at UC Davis, graduated in 1979, and was able to return to the Central Valley as an intern and resident in family medicine. Because of the Song Brown support, I was able to be exposed to practice in the most rural communities, including Mendota and Fireball, which allowed me to work with farm worker populations and it allowed me to work with faculty or train under faculty who were able to show me how to best provide care for those populations. I had the opportunity and privilege to work as a commissioner on the Song Brown Commission for a number of years and it was amazing to see the success of residency programs who are training providers to serve the underserved. Um, I'm very proud to have been able to be a part of that and I'm excited that over the last 50 years Song Brown has grown from developing the initial programs to now serving a multitude of, of primary care, not just family medicine anymore, but looking at internal primary care, internal medicine, primary pediatrics, and primary care OBGYN. So congratulations to Son Brown. Congratulations to the state of California for having developed such an amazing program. And I look forward to another 50 years plus of Son Brown. Thank you. Uh, why is Song Brown so important? Because it is building our primary care workforce. But for Song Brown, our FQHC wouldn't have a residency program. We were funded in 2019. We've just graduated our first class of students and we're happy to report that uh, a large percentage of them are staying in underserved areas. Song Brown helped make that happen and will do so for California moving forward. Regarding the positive impacts we've seen from Song Brown, in addition to helping to build primary care residencies, loan repayment for existing physicians in our areas and recruiting folks, it is really strengthening our safety net with people who care about serving our underserved populations. Song Browns make sure that our providers, our representative, are in the communities where folks have uh, doctors that look like them and speak their language and care about them and understand their culture. And it's because of Song Brown wanting to represent the beauty of California. That's why we have programs like that. So thank you, Song Brown, and congratulations on 50 years. The Song Brown program is an incredibly important program run by the state of California. It's really, for decades, been the main way that the state has invested in training primary care physicians and other health professionals to work particularly in areas where they are most needed. I have intimate familiarity with the program having been involved in our own residency program at the University of California at San Francisco General Hospital, but also as chair of the UCSF Department of Family and Community Medicine, where we have nine additional community-based affiliated family medicine residency programs. And most of them over the years have received funding from the Song Brown program that has just been so vital in allowing those programs to flourish and often pursue innovative directions, particularly around how to prepare 
uh, family physicians to be uh, focused on health equity, to really embrace diversity both among the people they're recruiting and in the populations they serve, and really produce the type of physicians who are most needed right now in a state where a shortage of family physicians has been identified as one of the most pressing workforce problems in the state, and the lack of uh, physicians working in uh, under-resourced communities. So the Song Brown program is really California's way of saying we care about this and we're investing in making a difference for the people of California. Ultimate Health Services uh, is the largest independent network of federally qualified health centers uh, in the nation. Our mission is to serve the underserved and marginalized communities in Southern California uh, in both Los Angeles and Orange counties. As an FQHC, we pride ourselves in caring for any individual that walks in one of our over 60 clinics in Los Angeles and Orange counties, regardless of their race, ethnicity, ability to pay, or documentation status. And it was our CEO and founder, Gaslo de Rocha, that 50 years ago understood that the best way to provide the the highest quality of care is to have doctors that come from the communities of the patients that we serve. And in 2020, we were very lucky to start a brand new Ultimate Family Medicine Residency Program. And I'm very proud to say that we graduated our first class of Family Medicine Residents this year with five of the six staying in a federally qualified health center to serve the community. And we absolutely could not have done that without Song Brown and the funding we received every year from Song Brown. What makes Song Brown funding so unique and so special for us is its trust in our residency and trust in our programs. Uh, where, whereas other funding opportunities have specific restrictions on how you use the funds, uh, the Song Brown understands that nobody understands the mm, needs of our programs better than us. And in fact, uh, not only do we use Song Brown funding to uh, support our new residents, we use the funding to bring in uh, some of the best community physicians throughout the state to come to Altamed and build a program that they wish they would have had. We very much believe in growing and training our own. Our Family Medicine Residency Program has not one, but nine rotations in family and community medicine. Family medicine for us and community medicine is not a track or an emphasis. It is the foundation. It is the curriculum. It is built into who we are. Uh, we strongly believe that if you want to care for an underserved community, you need to train in an underserved community um, and work directly with patients every single day. And again, thank you to Song Brown for 50 years of supporting programs such as us, investing in programs and in students like ours. I also want to thank the Department of Healthcare Access and Information for all their support. We would absolutely not be able to be where we are and do what we do without you. Thank you and mi gracias. And they had some um, special funding you could apply for. Uh, for family medicine for for projects and so my organization said hey let's do that um, because we have a hope fan and what the hope fan is it's a mopo clinic uh, for the homeless so we take this van and park it various places in our community and the homeless where we know the homeless are and they come and they access care on the hope fan well we also had a faculty years ago who um, strapped on a backpack and would go into the encampments where the van couldn't go and found them patients there. So it's now called street medicine, but back then it was called uh, healthcare for the homeless. So we wanted our residents to get experience in um, homeless street medicine and going into the encampment. And so we got a grant through Song Brown. And with that grant, we used it to train one of my faculty members, Dr. McMullen, on homeless medicine. And in fact, we went to the National Healthcare for the Homeless Conference. I was able to bring residents to that conference. And long story short, 
it ignited the fire under Dr. McMullen and he started going out more with the backpack and the hiking boots on and taking residents out there with him. And it became his passion actually, and still, he's still doing it to this day. And and that was from Song Brown funding. So we've been very lucky and, and received Song Brown funding ever since 2014 and what we're in 2023 now. Uh, we, um, because we're rural, we're underserved, um, we have a huge need up here and we knew we needed to expand. So Song Brown allowed us to expand without their expansion funding. And in fact, without their funding now, I couldn't have that extra resident with me, which is huge. So, you know, you take that extra resident, graduate them, and just the amount of patients they can serve is big. And so with the Song Brown funding, we have expanded so the, I, I mean, there's just so many things we've done. We have primary care site clinic in residency now through Song Ground funding. We do point of care ultrasound now because we took some of our funding and trained our faculty. So I mean, I could just go on and on and on, but Song Brown HKI is super important to us. Uh, again, you know, our our the mission is on the back of my name tag here. You know, we serve the underserved, and that's what we do. And so, I think if you're if you are at an organization that does that, Song Brown is the perfect place to help fund your mission-driven activities. I'm going to say it again because Song Brown has really helped us uh, with our expansion and all the um, programs that we do here. Now we couldn't have done it without Song Brown, and it's actually helped me. I know I participated as, you know, a task force member and it's just, it's, it's been really great to work with you guys. So, so thank you.